Uh, yeah, I mean, for for me, my main thing is, like I said, I, mm-hmm. I never had any intention on doing this. So, and I've probably the first couple of years, I, I would get frustrated, you know, if I wasn't in a certain position. But now I'm like, it doesn't matter what position I'm in. I'm 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 a part of the largest sports and entertainment company when it comes to wrestling in the world, and I have so many things I can do within this company on multiple platforms that whether I'm a champion or not, I'm gonna be the best human being. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be me, and if being me yields opportunities, um, then I'm I'm all for it. But if they don't, I'm still all for it because at the end of the day, it, longevity. I, I've been here longer than a lot of the people that wrestled their entire lives and came here for WWE for just a couple of years. And they wouldn't help me when I first got here. And they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were jerks and they're not here anymore. And I'm still here. So, you know, of course we, we all want to be champions at some point, but like my thing is perform the, to the best of your ability, but conduct yourself like a champion, be a company when people say be a company person, it's not. I mean, I think being a company person is just being the best human being you can be and represent the brand, regardless of what brand that is, whether it's WWE or or any other brand, uh, as an ambassador to the brand, because you take pride in the fact that there are other people around you working their ass off week in and week out, backstage, uh, back in Stanford around the world to make this product the best that they they possibly can to make you be presented the best way that they possibly can. And, and I, I take pride in that. So when sometimes when I come to work and if I'm not booked, you know, I'm like, I used to get pissed off, but then I was like, okay, cool. I'll go do something on social media. So I came here to work. I'm not, I didn't come here to eat, uh, catering or just hang out. Uh, I'm away from my family. Uh, I'm away from my friends. I'm away from things that I do, you know, with my business. And I'm not going to come up here just to, like, coast through. I I can do a million other things and make great money doing them. Uh, But while I'm here with WWE, I'm going to be the greatest asset I can possibly be to the company. And I think that 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 is echoed by Apollo and by Dana. And fortunately for all of us, we found something within Titus Worldwide that we can have fun that people around us can have fun, and we can go out and just be ourselves. Is this time of year a little bit more special as we gear up for WrestleMania, which ultimately means the road to WrestleMania? Is this time of year you know, a little bit more special to you than, than any other time of year? No. I mean, I think it's all exciting. You know, you got to remember we got four major pay-per-views. We usually have at least one pay-per-view per month. Um you know, we're coming off of, you know, the 25th anniversary of Monday Night Raw. We got Royal Rumble, uh, then Monday Night Raw again, and then we have another pay-per-view in between that. And then next thing you know, we're right at WrestleMania. And the day after WrestleMania, we're preparing for SummerSlam. So I just try to embrace, you know, each moment, um, each time of the year. Uh, but I, I think it's all exciting. Um, I think it's exciting when we go overseas. Uh, and go to places like South Africa or Europe or, you know, China and Japan. Uh, that's ex- I mean, we do that stuff year-round. So for me, again, I, I'm just a dude that wasn't planning on doing this, and now, you know, it is almost eight years later, I'm still doing it. 